Stepping stones. In this exercise, you'll model a simple paving stone to use as stepping stones around the garden. You'll learn how to use the duplicate along path command to accurately place and space objects along a curve. The symbol will be both 2D and 3D. Create a hybrid symbol. Double click the rectangle tool on the basic palette. When the Create Object dialog opens, set the following fields, leaving all other fields unchanged. Class, Site, Hardscape, Component, Limestone, to pick up the graphic attributes from this class. Layer, Hard Landscaping. Width, 500 millimeters. Height, 850 millimeters. Position at next click, check. Click OK. Click on the drawing area away from the garden area. This is a temporary rectangle. The rectangle will be placed on the drawing area where you click. Choose Edit, Copy, and then choose Edit, Paste in Place. You now have two rectangles, one sitting directly on top of the other, with the most recently drawn rectangle selected. On the navigation palette, Click the Classes button and make Site Hardscape Comp Limestone the active class. Choose Model Extrude. In the Create Extrusion dialog, enter an extrusion value of 35mm, leaving all other fields on their defaults. Click OK. With the extruded rectangle still selected, click on the Object Info Palette's Render tab. Notice that the texture is set to Class Texture, which means that the texture is being picked up from the Hardscape Component Limestone class. Click the Shape tab. Using the Selection tool, click and drag around the rectangle and extrude to ensure that they are both selected. Choose Modify. Create Symbol. On the Create Symbol dialog, complete the fields as follows, leaving all other fields on their default settings. Name, Stepping Stone. Insertion Point, Plan Projection Center. Units, World Based. Leave Instance in Place, Check. Change 2D objects from layer plane to screen plane. Check. Assign to class Site Hardscape Comp Limestone. Click OK. When prompted, choose to place the new symbol in the Hardscapes folder on the resource browser and click OK again. This has created a new symbol with one instance of the symbol still on the drawing area with the definition sitting in the resource browser. Each time this symbol is used, it will belong to the Site Hardscape Comp Limestone class and you won't have to remember to classify it. Next, you'll duplicate this symbol. When design elements need to be repeated, symbols are an efficient way to keep the file size down. On the Object Info palette, the object type has changed from Rectangle and Extrude to 2D 3D Symbol. Make None the active class. On the Resource Browser, click the Home button on the right of the palette to ensure you're looking at the resources of the current file. Within the file, open the Hardscapes folder and verify that the symbol has been created. From the Basic palette, choose Arc and then choose Arc by Radius Mode on the toolbar. Click on the point indicated in the file this will be the centre of the arc. Move the cursor to the left, press Tab and either type a radius of 3487mm in the data bar, pressing Enter to fix the value, or simply snap to the top centre of the left arm of the paving, and then click. Move the cursor upward and to the right to draw an arc that meets the vertical path, and then click. Use the Selection tool and Shift key to select both the symbol and the arc. Choose Edit, Duplicate Along Path. 
On the Duplicate Along Path dialog, enter the following information, leaving all other fields on their default settings. Number of duplicates, 7. Center object on path, check. Tangent to path, check. Click Preview to see the effect. Click OK to complete the operation and close the dialog. Use the selection tool to select the arc and then delete it using the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. Notice that the first and last symbol instances have been centered on the start and end of the arc. Use the selection tool to click on one of the end symbols. From the basic palette, click the move by points tool and then choose the first mode, move mode. Ensure that Object Retention Mode is not clicked and that only one copy will be made. Move by Points can be used to copy objects, but on this occasion you'll just move the objects. Move the mouse along the top edge of the symbol looking for the centre left cue and click. Remember the symbol has been rotated when copied, but remembers its original orientation. Move the cursor vertically to the edge of the lawn hardscape and click again. The symbol now fits neatly into the planting border. Move the cursor to the symbol instance at the other end of the arc. Press Ctrl on Windows or Command on Macintosh to select it, with the Move by Points tool still selected. Repeat the move process to move the paver horizontally. On the basic palette, click the Select Similar tool. This is often referred to as the magic wand. On the toolbar, click on the Select Similar Tool Preferences button. Check Symbol Name and then click OK. Click on one of the symbol instances and they will all be selected. From the basic palette, choose the Mirror tool. Draw a vertical reflection line as you did earlier to mirror the lawn using the top midpoint cue of the central vertical path to find the centre of the design. Notice the preview of the mirror operation that is displayed before the second click. Click Select Similar again with the same settings and select all of the symbols. Use the mirror tool again to reflect these through a horizontal reflection line using the midpoint cue on the horizontal path to find the centre of the design. The symbols have been placed on the hard landscaping layer as have the lawn hardscapes. Both elements have a thickness of 35mm. In a 3D view their surfaces will be level which makes it hard for Vectorworks to determine what to show. Using the View menu on the toolbar, choose Left Isometric. Use the Select Similar tool again to select all of the paving symbols. On the Object Info palette, change Z to 10mm to set the pavers slightly above the lawn. Choose File, Save but keep the file open so that you can continue working with it in the following exercise.